so the collection was actually in pretty good condition considering uh, this one didn't survive so well. So this is the original cover glass. This is the original mount which keeps the the uh, the glass plate, the gelatin side away from from the cover glass. So what I'm going to do is put put it all back together um, using another new cover glass which will make um, a pressure binding or like a sandwich just to hold it all in place. So I'm just going to reassemble the positive and the transparency. This is a little um, mask which I'll put on. It's made of silver safe paper so it's safe to use with photographic materials. So that just goes on and that actually keeps the original plate away from the cover glass so it's not actually touching. Now I'm just going to tape around, I'm going to use P90 tape which is safe to use, so it's a conservation grade tape as long as it's not touching the actual object, that's fine. It's a really nice method because it's non-interventive, so we're not introducing any glue or, or changing anything. So this is how um, lantern slides would originally, they'd be bound like this they would have used some kind of adhesive like gelatin, um, so animal glue or, some, or starch paste, something like that. But we're not doing anything radically different. Also, if they were broken, um, when they were using them, they would, they would use this same method, so they'd support it with another piece of glass like this. It, now it's bound around the edges. I'm just going to bone it down with this bone folder just to make sure we get a really good adhesion. Okay, so that is a stabilised lantern slide of the Shabbat collection.